What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to test the Citra emulator on the Oppo Fun X2 Pro as it does have the new Snapdragon 865 CPU and I will test different game resolutions from 1 times up to 4 times. Now with that being said, let's get started. So the first game I am testing is Mario Kart 7. I will start off with the default resolution, then I will move up to 4 times resolution. So far the game is running perfectly, it is going from 59 to 60 frames per second. The second game is Super Street Fighter 4 and again I will be starting off with the default resolution and then go up to 4 times resolution. Now this is 4 times resolution and if you look at the frames per second on the top left you can see it is between 59 and 60 frames per second. There are some occasions when the performance dips and that's when a special move is happening or a cutscene video. The third game is Super Mario 3D Land and this is one of the most intensive games for Citra emulator. I've noticed phones with Snapdragon 855 and the 855 Plus get about 30 frames per second or so and as you can see on the default resolution this is running about nearly full speed. Come <laughs> on. 
Now on 4 times resolution, the performance has taken a dive, it's gone about 40 and just to 30 frames per second. This is on 3 times resolution and as you can see, it is also quite slow, not really playable as this is a 60 frames per second game. And now I'm on 2 times the resolution and it is definitely much playable at this resolution. And the last game is Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I will be playing it at one time resolution first and then I will move to four times and so on. At 4 times resolution it looks really good but the performance takes a dive. At 3 times resolution it is slightly better but not full speed. And lastly 2 times resolution it is definitely playable and it does look way better than the default resolution. Huh? <gasps> 
Okay, so that does it for this video. And as you can see, the Snapdragon 865 definitely has seen an improvement from the 855 and 855 Plus. Now, if you want to see other emulation videos, do let me know in the comment section. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.